Right, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to um, what will be the first of um, hopefully 30 sessions. We'll see how it goes, see what the feedback is like, see what the response is like. Um, as with all these things, it's not my style, but you do have to like and subscribe and things to that actually tells us that people watch it and will notify you when we're going to do others uh, and obviously gives us the feedback of um, these actually being used and I'm not wasting my time. If I feel I'm wasting my time, I will not do them. Simple as that. I'm actually giving up a screen to talk to you guys. It makes my life considerably harder doing these, uh, particularly on a three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon than it does sit in trading for myself. Feel free to use the chat to ask questions. I'm not going to go through and say hello to everybody purely because I have not got time. Um, what is the purpose of these? Uh, the purpose is we have got FTS over the last couple of years um, into a position where I can share more with you. Obviously, I, I've got little groups that I work with on FTS. Um, I've got my own trading styles. They don't suit everybody, but we've now got tools out there that you guys can use. Um, and I could make some lovely, flashy, well-produced videos, pick my moments and show winning trades and do the flying in screenshots and the rotating Betfair screens and things that you've all seen. Um, I had a look at that. I thought, one, I waste a lot of time because you're sitting waiting for trades to develop. Uh, and two, it all just feels a little bit forced to me. I want this to be as authentic as possible. So if you're here thinking you're just going to get tips, you're going to be sorely disappointed. If you think you're here because we're going to have winning trading sessions at every single time, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Obviously, I have to advertise these in advance. Um, to set them up. I have genuinely no idea what's going to happen in this afternoon. We've got to be quick because I'm going to light a couple of trades up. Um, and I have my own trading style. Now, some of you know that. So I have some set settings that I tend to use for my own trading. And I'm a patient trader. And I understand that if I repeat this a thousand times, uh, I'm going to make money. And I understand that for most people, repeating it a thousand times is where it all falls down. They try it three or four times. I haven't had a winner, so they pack up and fuck off. Um, and I am sure I say this all the time. I've said it when I used to do face to face seminars. I say we would have um, 40 people in the room. I'd say, well, if we go three years down the line, there'll only be one or two left. These will be exactly the same. We're probably going to have a massive amount of interest, see a lot of names. Uh, if we had two or three losing ones, then I expect that people will um, disappear. Uh, and we'll end up with me talking to my dog by session 30. Um, the whole idea, I'm going to I'm going to expand my range today uh, just purely to show you different ways to trade um, using the in play tool and the tools that are available. Uh, so whilst I have my own preset ones, I'm going to break them in effect um, to try and get us involved in a little bit more because it is pointless sitting here and we're waiting for whatever, a goal in the first 20 minutes and no game has one and we end up sat on our hands. And then hopefully from that, one, you'll ask questions, two, you can go off and develop your own um, methods. Do feel free to ask questions. Yes, Ike, if you if you give me time to get through everything, then you'll see exactly what we're going to use. Um, see how people are diving in. Are we using this? Are we using that? Just the one, the one thing, the reason I win is fuck all to do with these tools that I'm going to show you. Let's get that out of there. The reason I win is because I'm consistent, I'm fucking patient, and I keep doing the same thing day out. That is why I win. Anybody's got the info. Anybody's got the tools. I'm not sitting here saying that nobody else can create this and put it on websites and whatever. How you use it, how you manage yourself, how you apply yourself, what level you go into, that will determine whether you win at this game, period. Don't care what anybody else is, period. If you're going to give up repeatedly, if you're going to chop and change methods repeatedly, you've got no chance. I get the ump about it. I said in the pod this week, I'm bored fucking talking about it. I'm bored if people have come in here just to get a few trades to think I can get busy on a Saturday afternoon. It's not how I work. And I will, as you see, get the hump very quickly. And I do have the ability to kick people out of here as well, which is beautiful. Um, right. So I use exactly the same information as you've now got available. I'm going to show you a sheet. You're going to go, we haven't got that because I have had uh, that information put in a way that I use it for my own speed. Um, 
I'm not saying you can't have that. If you, when I get to talk to that in a minute, I'll share the screen. You'll see that we have uh, version. I'm on version 21, and I've paid a vast amount of money to have that built. If you want the exact version I use, and somebody when I've shown this before, they think, "Can we have that?" Yeah, you can. It's going to be about three, four grand. If you want it, let me know. Email me, and we'll sort it out. Um, but I'm going to start off by showing that and the data, and we will get. Um, and we will get from there. My phone may go off because people are always contacting me. I've got other games to keep an eye on. So this isn't going to be a, a Steven Spielberg production. So the first thing I'm going to start before we get into this, I just want to see what minute a couple of games are on. Uh, right, two minutes, Alanatana, two minutes, Hammerby. We'll run those in a second. Right, so in effect, this, this here is my master sheet there. So it is exactly the same as the FTS advanced numbers. So if we go to Bristol City there and go, we've got 0.56 first half XG on the FTS advanced sheet. If we go to my sheet, find Bristol City there, I have got 0.56. I've got exactly the same. So it's exactly the same as you. I just have it put in a new sheet for me, which I use, which enables me basically to have everything in one place. So I have my mega tables in play analysis on one place. I have a sheet here that enables me to load up in the morning. So I import the fixtures for that day. I can hide the columns I don't want and I can highlight the cells and overwrite the odds. So if I want to, I'm just being fully transparent. I have a sheet that updates the odds every 15 minutes. So all I need to do is open that sheet and then I can go to my sheet and I ask it to overwrite the odds on that sheet. And I go, yes. And it overwrites it. So that's now giving me the odds at 315. And I ask it to highlight. And it goes, yes. And all I'm asking it to do is highlight the stuff that I use. So where the home team's odds on, where over two and a half is odds on, where the um, S XG is over certain numbers. So I then end up with a sheet like this where I've got the bits I use highlighted. I've got blue for over two and a half being odds on, my XGs for the match XG six game, my XG for half times, my XGs for uh, greens. So I've got all this information going on um, in one sheet for me and I can update those odds. So I don't need to worry when I'm looking for games to be odds on of matching it and doing it. But what I do then do is I build from there a list of daily selections. So this is a list of games. I'm going to have to turn that off. So I'm going to list a list of games that I would be interested in and they all get different names. So I set this up every single day religiously. Uh, I've got a list of time, time, time order that I want to work through. Uh, and then if I stop sharing that, stop, stop screen, hold on a second. Uh, and then I set all that up as a backup in, uh, hold on a second, told you it's not going to be there. This is our, because this one's not, uh, just link this up today. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, I can share uh, that one. I then load all that in um, Guardian. So I've got all my games listed in Guardian. I put some alerts on there, certain games for over two and a half. So I've got a double check. I've got the check on my 15-minute odd sheet, and I've got alerts going off in Bet Angel in case just catch my eye if I'm working and other stuff that I want. So I get everything again listed in time order, the markets I want to operate in, where I'm going to be. So the key there is in the preparation that I'm set up before the day starts. I'm not sitting here going, oh, what am I going to do? What should I do? What should I do? I get myself fully set up, ready to go. So they are, in effect, how I'm going to work through stuff. And some of this is going to qualify. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off script and run the in-play tool and talk to you about that. So I've set that up. It is 2 mil still. It's 65. It's already definitely a qualifier, I know. So over there. Uh, do feel free to ask questions. As I say, my plan is to do about 30 of these and we'll cover loads of stuff. We'll cover staking. I, I know her personally risk more than 2% on any trade. Um, I vary from 0.5 up to 2% depending on what I'm doing. Um, but I'm now going to add 
Uh, hold on a minute, I'm going to stop that one. This is go over here, go to our in play tool. It's already gone past a minute, but I can talk you through it um, and share that. Right, so this is the in play tool. I've already run it actually. Um, for this game because I had it on my eyes. I hope we get through the preamble before that. Uh, let's just minimize it. So I have some I have some two main key setups that I operate on this. I'm going to do some different ones. I'm going to show you one I did earlier that actually won. Um, and that is to run it in the first half. If I'm running it, I run it after 20 minutes. Uh, if there's been a goal and I look at back in over two and a half um, through that through that after 20 minutes and trading and in the second half i'll tend to operate from 65 minute onwards so we've got a game in sweden currently sitting at 2-0 which is hammerby versus uh varberg one nil at half time there's been a goal in the uh early part of the second half so i'm just getting my live score up as well um and this is the profile i'm looking for so you'll see lots of things about in play stuff I don't watch any football. I don't have any live shots on target data. I'm not interested in it. I literally have the numbers that we've got. So I'm looking for a six game XG at 2.76 and above. That is on our FTS advanced data sheet. It's on my sheet. That's what we have. I'm looking for over two and a half goals to have been odds on before the game started. That's it. We've got to the 65th minute. The game is 2-0. Uh, it's in the Swedish or Svenskan. There's many other things we can add to this. We could put the form if we wanted to. We could put the home odds, which I'll come to in a minute. If you wanted to put the first goal time, so what I would do there is if the game was 1-0, I may set that. If it went 1-0 after half time, I may set that at 46, just to say that it was 0-0 at half time. But I don't, I don't really use it personally, to be honest. I'm not really interested in that. I run that, which I have done, and it tells me basically now we've got 21 games that have happened in the Swedish or Svenskan where we've been odds on pre-match. We've had a price on XG of greater than 2.76. It's got the 2-0 on the 65th minute. Out of those 21, 18 have had another goal, 1.17. That's what the odds relate to, um, convert to and uh, 1.23. This here is basically me just adding on a 5% margin. So I'm just taking the odds that the machine generates and going, actually, I want a bit of margin on top of that. And I add on 5%. So um, that's there. And I do it for all of them there. So that is 1.23. That match currently now is on 70 minutes, just about. Uh, and I've lost my mouse now. don't know where that's gone. Over there. Um, that matches on 70 minutes. It is 1.62, currently 1.63. When it was on 65 minutes, which corresponds to the time I've run here, it was 1.53. So I've got a price available of 1.53. When I've had this profile of game, and I always talk about profile of games, when I've had this profile of game, I've got 1.23 here for this game. So I will almost certainly play this game what it's then you decide how you play it so for me and we will have some if these numbers were all good as well like and i mean really good the two ahead i may not wait and i may play it two ahead and trade on a goal if this was odds on here so this had gone below two that we had a goal after 80 minutes i may wait and play a late goal what i'm going to do is what i do standard now i've got value in the in the model of these games has got value for another goal I'm going to back it. I personally sit and wait, and I back it from 1.8 upwards. Most of my trades, I try and average out around even money for my bets. Because then, if I lose a point, win a point, I've just got to have more winners than I have losers. So I don't want to go in at 1.6 or 1.5, because if I have a winner, two, lo uh, two losers, sorry, I need a couple of winners, three winners, four winners to get that money back. So I'm going to just play this game myself from 1.8 upwards. And I drip in personally, 0.25. I have a trading bank. So if you've got a trading bank of £1,000, 1% obviously is £10. I drip in 0.75% of my tra trading bank in three drips, 0.25 at 1.8, 0.25 around 2, and 0.25 around 2.2. If we get a goal, we've won. Now, I don't go in 
exactly the same every time. I sometimes go 1.84, 2.2. I don't put my money up there with a great big flag in advance going, oh, oh I want to back this for X thousand pounds or whatever. And everybody goes, well, we, he, this guy wants to back it. We'll go sit and make him wait. That's where the physical side of actually sitting here and having to trade is what I do. I, I don't mind sitting here and doing this and running the numbers. So I'm going to, we're going to get in that game in a minute. It's up to 1.77. I'm going to back that game. So I'm backing over two and a half goals at Hammerby based on the fact that in this profile of games, 18, 86% of them so far have had another goal. Doesn't mean this one's going to, and that's what I mean. But if I keep playing these numbers thousands of times, and that's why I keep that thousands of times, and I've had the, oh, yeah, well, he said there's going to be, oh, there's no such thing. I've said it, pods and goal whisperers and talking all this shit. Keep playing the numbers and you will get there. So I am, so Ken Moore's gone there. So the price needs to be 1.23 there. On, yes, needs to be beating that 1.23. So we've got this yellow square. The price on Betfair needs to beat that for me to get involved. I then say, right, yes, I want to play it. Depending on what the prices are, I'll decide how I play it. And, and hopefully over these 30 sessions, we'll get a few different varieties. I will back this one pretty much now onwards, drip back over um, another goal. I'll literally just drip back another goal. Um, from 1.8 upwards on that point. So they're my sort of standard settings then. They don't really vary. I build a list of games that may meet that criteria in the morning. I pull out all the games that are 2.76. I pull out games that look like the odds on. And then I sit there. I don't play every single game. I'll tend to sit and go, right, I'm going to work from 2 o'clock till 6 o'clock uh, and I'll play them and run them then. However, of course, we can play, and one of my dangers when we gave this sheet out was you could sit, you could literally play every game every day and, and find a bet somewhere. But I'm going to talk you through some other ways you can use it. So I played a game earlier, um, Nuremberg, which I've put over here. It was 1-0. It was 1.6. So Nuremberg was 1-0 on 65 minutes. It's in German Bundesliga 2. And I ignored the XG in this game. I looked at Nuremberg were odds on and over two and a half was odds on. Uh, so I put that in the wrong column. Make sure when you're doing this that that was odds on. So that was the profile of that game. So again, if I go back to my dashboard quickly, you'll see I'm highlighting games in cyan here that are odds on. I like odds on favourites. I like the market saying this team's fancy. So they were 1 0 up. 1-0 at half time. They were 1-0 up. Got to 65 minutes. It was 1-0. I thought, let's just have a look and see that in German Bundesliga 2 without any XGs where we've got odds on home team, odds on over 2.5. We just click analyse. The great thing with this sheet is it takes literally 15, 20 seconds to run a game. And we can click OK. And we had 38 games, so it was 1-0. So we're now looking at the over one and a half market. It was 1.46. Raw data in the in the database for 38 games, 68% have another goal. 1.53 with my margin. It was available at 1.6. So I backed then. It, I did exactly the same. I backed from 1.8 upwards. I backed a goal from 1.8, 2.0, sort, zero, whatever, 08. 2.22, whatever it may be. Uh, and we got the goal on the 92nd minute. So I'd, I'd written it off as a loser, but actually a goal went in. So we, um, so yes, that was a nice little start to the day. But that again, now, now I've taken the XG out. I've purely used odds brackets. We're profiling the game. We're literally saying, right, I want to look at that. I want to look at that. What I would stress to you, and the question I asked when I put this up, do we want to watch one method or do we want to tinker with a few? Learn one, genuine, the, the, the amount that people die for that. I've been doing this and don't do anything else six, seven days a week for 15, 16 years now. These tools have evolved to suit how I trade. Don't be like, oh, well, I, that one hasn't worked, so I'm going to try something else. Get yourself one way that you're going to analyse and look at games, accept that you're then going to sit there and games aren't going to qualify, aren't going to hold, and learn one. And if you do that, you cannot fail to 
profit. I promise you. I keep saying these things are bigger. Of course, you no, you can't. The reason that people fail is because they don't work themselves. I'm watching a great program on TV at the minute. Um, Sam records it. Uh, dogs behaving very badly. Uh, guy's fantastic on it. A guy called Graham, can't remember his name. And he goes around people's houses and basically the dogs are misbehaving, doing all sorts, either barking, stealing food, pulling on a lead, chasing after other dogs, whatever it may be. Every single time, it's not the dog. Every single time, it's the owner. And that is exactly, I watch it because I look and I say to Sam, I say, this is just like talking to people about betting because it's fuck all to do with the data. It's how you lot use it, how you go about it, your patience or lack of patience, lack of understanding, lack of staking, rushing in. And it's just a great analogy for me watching that and watching this guy. And every time he goes, well, you know what the problem is? It's you. And these people go, oh, right there. And, and he fixes it every single time. Every single time he, he sorts this issue out. But he doesn't change the dog. He changes the owners. And then the owners, the dog reacts differently to that situation. And it's better. I should go on TV, make a program about you lot trading. It would be exactly the same. Come around your house, video it, and watch you lot. Watch what you do and watch what I do. And I'm not saying that to be flash or big-headed. You're here because you want to learn something. It's time you fucking man up. Stop the bollocks and step up to the plate because it drives me fucking mad. Uh, right. Where are we with uh, what's going on over here? We'll have a look at a couple more games. Right. Any questions? Any other questions? Right. Hang on. So Callum has asked, do I check the odds at the minute you enter as well just to make sure the number? No, I, that's that to me is tinkering too much. I take a snapshot. I know I've got value at that period. As the game goes on, Maybe more samples are going to come in because games that were nil-nil on 65 may have gone one-nil by 70. So I'm going to start distorting those numbers. I pick my minute, which, you know, I'm going to do some two ahead ones. We'll perhaps have a look at the half time. I'll set that at 46 and we'll have a look and see if there's any games to back two ahead, um, which is a method I've talked about. But I take that snapshot of that price and go, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to play the game that way. So I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just making a clear plan. I'm not keep changing it, keep changing the minutes. You know, my, my my standard setup is that. That is my standard setup, is to have odds on over two and a half. I want the, guy, the market telling me there's going to be goals, and I want my model telling me that there's going to be goals in the game. So that's my standard setup. That's how I tend to look at things from there. What I'm going to try and talk to with you guys is some different ways you can use the sheet. You don't have to follow my standard setup because I have a lot of time when I'm sat here and nothing happens where goals don't go in and this, that and the other. Um, so I know I just want to get another bet in this MLB game just to show you that we're, we're live and dandy. Um, right, so let's go. We'll, we'll run some stuff at half time. Uh, now is a good time for questions while the three o'clock kickoffs are getting up to half time, if you've got any. Uh, Steve Mander has asked a question. Um, so, so far, the only thing I've done is back the another goal at Hammerby. Um, Steve Mander's asked a question there. If mastering a system, which system would you advise starting with? I'll be honest, it's like how long's a piece of string that we've got. You've got to do what suits your mentality. What I hope to show over this is there's stuff that will give you more volume, if that's what people want, over time, uh, and not to feel they're wasting their Saturday salary. One of the big criticisms people have with some of the ways I trade is they're sat on their hands too much, not doing anything, and games don't qualify, um, You know, which is I'm, I'm fine with, but I understand that people, if they have given up a Saturday, they want to have bets. Um, I would try and find something that's going to be round about even money. So if you wanted to play first half systems, you know, ones I've given people, the 1.5, 20, 27, 35, it's a fantastic system. You could run this on 20 minutes. Um, games that are nil-nil, how many have over one and a half? You could do that. If you were going to play second half, I would suggest sticking to a time so either do what i do go 65 70 and back in the second half or do 46 and do over 2.5 trading on a goal um what i wouldn't you know you've got to find one that will suit your mentality and give you the volume decide on a stake and a risk for that game what am i going to risk 
um, 1%, 2%, whatever it may be, exactly how you're going to bet it. So I'm not sitting there going, what am I going to do? I know exactly what I'm going to do, how I'm going to place these bets um, and do them. Starting out for me, I do. I I think for most people, genuinely, I, if I was doing first half, I'd either do the one and a half on 20 minutes or I'd do over two and a half through the first 10 minutes, um, which you can sort out from the FTS advanced data really pre-match and the database without running the in-play tool. So there's none of that involved. Then you haven't got to sit and scrabble around and run this. Uh, if you wanted to play in the second half, I would use the in-play tool and back 65, 70 minutes onwards personally. That's what I would do. Um, and I would, I would try and even my bets out then across round about 2.0. Um, but I have bets where I bet first half 1.5 goals. We'll perhaps look at a couple of those if we get a chance. Um, bear in mind, I said we're going to do 30 of these if we can. 30 for 30. Um, and we'll see how we get on. Right, any other questions here? Right, I'll just stop that a minute. We'll, I'm just going to make my scores a bit bigger. I don't like losing a screen, guys. I don't like losing a screen, I'll be honest. Um, so we've got the German games coming up to um, 65 minutes, so we can run those as well. We'll have a look at those. And we've got, then we'll have the second half. So I might run some half-time tour heads on the um, Premier League Championship. We won't do Scotland, eh? Pointless. I mean, obviously, some of you have had the in-play sheet now for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, rather. Um, you know, you know how you've used it. I don't know how people have got on or not got on. Um, so I'm just going to run a couple of these German games. We'll set them up. I just want to check Bayern Munich in a minute. Bayern Munich. I'm just going to People I need to okay. this is, I'm not I'm not uh, do you get conflicting selections e.g. under 2.5 and over 2.5 same game different systems I don't for the way I'm set up um, you may well do I I don't know because I, I, I I've got stuff I mean I'll, I'll while we're waiting I'll show you one Somebody asked me about laying, and we will do some laying with the in-play tool. I've got, I could get this horribly wrong because I'm going to try and guess what the settings were, but I can't remember. Um, so I'm going to go and share that. Uh, there was a game in the week in Italy. I think it was Fiorentina-Atalanta. It was 1-1. One, one. Um, obviously, these numbers will be slightly different because I've added the data. So here I'm using exactly the same data as you. I'm not using any different issues, importing the FTS advanced data every go. Uh, it was 1-1 one, one on 65. I want to click analyze and see what happens here. See if I can remember. Yeah, here. Um, was it over three and a half? I think the over three and a half, yeah. It's like one, one with two, needed two more goals. And it was something like 2.1, this figure. So now all of a sudden, it's not a value to back, it's a value to lay. So I laid um, the over three and a half goals in that game. Again, looking at it that way, I ran it to see if there were goals. But... I ended up playing the other side of the market because there was just tremendous value here. Obviously, Atlanta, Atalanta, a team, I think, that starting to die off, but people associate with having a load of goals. Um, and it was just great value to lay. So when I'm using this tool, I may well run it one way and then end up laying it. We will dig out some lay bits later on. There's some great stuff to be found laying three and a half, even four and a half. Um, 
in the games. I don't ever tend to lay one ahead, but certainly I'll lay two or three goals ahead if there's value. Um, you can always exit for a loss. If you get a goal quick and you want to curb your losses, then you can do. Um, but we'll, we will look at some of that. Right, let's get some of these games laid up here for what's going on in the second half. Right, let's get that in there. Apologies, I'm just diving screens. Don't do... Uh, Right, so I've got the sheet here. So Ken said, did you choose which games you're interested in? And set the input. Yeah, exactly. Because otherwise, I just think you sit here all day and you can make any game fit. That's, you know, that one. I was really conflicted. Um, you know, there'll be people in this room probably that I spoke to beforehand. I was really conflicted to let you guys have that. You kind of toss up the balance of, this is what I use and you guys want to win. But if I keep it secret, squirrel, you've got no chance. But by giving it out to you and making it available, I do know that there's people out here and there'll be people in this room who completely and utterly butcher it and bet far too much with it. Probably there's people who've used it and binned it already because they've gone, oh, well, it doesn't work. I've had a two months with it and I found 548 million games and I haven't made any money. It's a fact of life. The more you trade, the more likely you are to lose. You know, that's when those losing runs will come in. Go back to the blog post, the losing run tables. You might have not had 10 losers in if you only had 100 bets. But by the time you get 1,000 bets, you're going to. All the stuff that I have has losing periods. You know, if you're backing goals after 80 minutes, you can have 10, 15 games where you don't find one. Um you know, all this stuff happens. Hopefully, we're not going to, you know, as I say, the reason I'm doing these live yeah, they're going to be messy for you guys, but we're not going to hide anything. We're not going to stage anything. It's going to be, this is what we found. This is what happens. Let's get on with it. Uh, right. So um, I'm looking at these. I wanted to check these. Right. So I know that the Hoffenheim game, I mean, Bayern Munich will run, but almost certainly. So the Hoffenheim game is one here. Nil two. I know that met all my qualifying criteria pre-match. Back there, okay. They're coming up. Right, okay. So, Hoffenheim, German Bundesliga, 1.99, 1.76. So, I'll get the two and a head, over two and a half market up. If it qualifies, I'll be... There, uh, right, so share screen again. Like that, and there. So here we go. So we're coming up. What I do, and this is again, I run it in advance. So Hoffenheim on Football 24 is on 58 minutes. It's nil two. So I'm running it on 65. I accept that it's 58 minutes. And those of you who've backed the con, con, what, Barnsley one and a half, people who do my trade in Barnsley have just gone one nil up. Um, you want to remove your liability. Let's just go there. Charlton have gone 1-1. One, one. Uh, right, so I'm setting this up in advance. And the reason I do that now, I'm not going to be, oh, shit, 65 minutes run it. I try and run everything ahead of time. So 65 minutes, it's nil two. Click it, run it. Get my figures. We've got 1.37. It is I'm on the wrong market over here. Hold on, it's, it's over there. It's 1.33 now. So it's ahead already. We're on we're on 59 minutes on football 24. We're on 1.33 on Betfair. So we're 1.34. So we're already over that. Almost certainly we're going to get to that. I just make notes here then. If I want to, so you can just clear that. That's just a blank space. So I can put it in here um, that I'm watching the Hoffenheim game nil two. If you wanted to, you could just put that on so just so you know what you're looking at over there. If your phone rings or you get called away. Um, so Hoffenheim is one nil. I'll now run the Bayern Munich game, which is nil one again on 58 minutes. And again, exactly the same.
and it's 1.57. So you see the difference between nil two and nil one. So one point. Sorry, I got a bit talking too much. 1.57, 1.65. Bayern Munich involved. We already know it's going to be short. So Bayern Munich is 1.26, 1.27. So instantly I know that game's not going to get there. So I don't even need to worry about it. I've just dismissed it by running it advanced, being ahead of the game. I can go right Bayern Munich, sod off. You don't interest me. They rarely interest me. I normally don't run Bayern Munich, Ajax, PSG, um, just for the fact that they. Uh, Offer absolutely nothing up. But so now we've got the Hammerby game in play. That's coming to the end. There hasn't been another goal. Uh, it's getting to 90 minutes plus. So I blame you lot for that one. Um, but we can now start, we'll start to look at some of these in a slightly different way, perhaps. Um, running these, we'll look at some two ahead opportunities and see if there's any there. Um, I'll have to load the markets and things, but we'll just let them get to half time. So we'll let this Hammerby game finish and then get to half time um, and see if we can find any trades going into the second half, which aren't just 65. So while we're doing that, I can move by Munich from there. I can move by Munich from there. I can remove that Charlton game that I had a bet on earlier. That's done. Uh, and hit there, play there. Right, so Hoffenheim is at 1.38. And if you remember now, we got 1.37, and we haven't yet got to uh, 65 minutes 62. So Hoffenheim is 1.38, 1.37 for one goal ahead. So it's 1.39 now, so it's quite a wait to 1.8 goals. Uh, for it to get to 1.8, I'm going to have to sit here for quite a while. So what I will then do, and this is why I talk about different ways to play them, I'll grab the two ahead market. So Hoffenheim over three and a half and have a look and see what that is and how does that compare to what we've run. So Hoffenheim over three and a half is 2.78. So you can see here, Whilst there's value in one more goal, there's not value in two more goals. So it's not a game now where I would even consider backing two ahead. If anything, I would be, if these were both bad, I'd be looking on the lay side. But because I want 3.41, it's 2.82. So I'm never going to get there. So I will play it only one ahead. I know I'm going to have a bit of a wait if a goal goes in in that time. Again, people are always beating a goal, beating a goal, didn't get in that one. If a goal goes in, I move on to the next game. There's... There's always another football match. Uh, so I'm, I'm, people understand what I did there. Because it's quite a low price, 1.38, 1.39, I'm going to have to wait 10 or 15 minutes to get there, um, maybe more. So I'll just have a look. Is there a way I can get in perhaps earlier, back in two ahead, and then if I get a goal in that period, I can trade on it. It's not value to do so. 26 games in the Bundesliga that have been with that profile have only eight have had two more goals. Only 11 have had a goal late on. So I'm not going to bother. But that's what I'm doing. So I'm putting just a little different angle on how I'm looking at it, how I might bet that. Um, I might have bet two ahead if I had really good value there and traded. But I haven't. And all I do then, I always remove the market. So like on my sheets where I hide columns, those of you who've watched the last couple of Saturday mornings, if I put my dashboard up, I hide columns where I don't get distracted by other stuff. So I've just literally got the stuff I want and I'm really going to focus on. Exactly the same on Bet Angel. Once a game is not a bet, I delete it. I don't want to get drawn into, or perhaps I'll have a look at it another way or whatever. I like to just get rid of it. So I've got everything always. Preparation, organisation, I always know exactly what I'm doing. Um, and obviously when we do more of these, I won't have to do all the intro bit. We can do a lot more trading side uh right so we've got half time in some of these games so let me just get a few markets up i'm just going to lose you lot again there feel free to ask some questions during half time so hoffenheim i'm going to back two ahead hammerby we didn't get the goal so we can chalk that one down as a loser as i said i'll blame you lot so i'm just going to make a note of it so i've got it on my records Oh, 
I'm going in, so again, people who don't like keeping records, I'm making records as I go, I'm typing in the match, what bet I'm placing, so that I've got, uh, that's how, you know, that's your feedback, that's what you can look back on at the end of the month and go, I had X trades like that, how did I get on, was it normal, was it abnormal, did I do anything wrong, uh, so Hoffenheim is over under 2.5 right so 1.48 so Hoffenheim obviously we're gonna to have to wait a little bit but I will get in that round about 1.8 if anybody's watching that game and I have to be doing something else if it gets to 1.8 ish somebody give me a shout um, I have got it flagged up there right now I'm gonna look at some of these other games um, really important keeping you know all the stuff like keeping records I'm not even going to talk about it anymore if you can't bother to keep records genuinely leave mates have equalized against Bayern Munich 1-1 one, one. so that's 65 minutes so there's an example somebody asked will I run it again the goal has come on 65 minutes so I will have a look at that and I'm going to really look at it with the idea of um, an 80 minute goal that's what I want to see I want to see really the price now of a goal after 80 minutes. I'm not that fussed in another goal now but is there any value to back a goal late on in that game so I'm just going to pull that back up before I do that. So now Mainz, let's just make it a bit bigger for you. Come over there. So but Bundesliga, it's gone 1-1 one, one on 65 minutes. So all I'm going to do now is run that. I'm not going to change the minutes or anything. I've just left it exactly as it is, but I've put the fact that that goal's gone in. So has there been... Is there any value then in a game late on, particularly given Bayern will press for the win? Um, and we've got 47 games there, but you can see 2.76. So I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole person. I don't care if there's a late goal. If that's that's the truth of it, only 36% of the time has it happened. So you land on the one and go, oh yeah, goal, great, do it. 100 times you're going to have 64 losers you're not going to make any money because the odds of that are not going to be 2.76 they'll probably be at best 2.3 the more you do it you start to almost be able to visualize the odds in your head so i've got absolutely no interest in that game whatsoever um, but that's what i was looking at what if this had been something like 1.7718 I would almost certainly have played a late goal in the game at Bayern Munich, Mainz Bayern Munich. Um, but because of the numbers, and that's all that's put me off. You know, they'll be going, they've had 18 shots, four corners, three offsides, 22 dangerous attacks. It's bollocks there. Bollocks. Um, I, if, you, if you're that right again, leave. Fuck off. I'm not interested. Complete and utter bollocks. You can't even, you're up to last night in the Arsenal game, can't even decide whether Sackers was a cross or a shot. And people want to put fucking stuff into that. You've got the people who run, they run the fucking analysis of it going, that's a cross. And they're like, no, it's not, it's a shot. And you've got these shitty fucking programs trying to tell you it all. Fuck off, honestly. Sorry, I get annoyed with it. It's bollocks. Um, Good in it. It's a bit like, like all the other firms' productions. Right, let's get back to where we were. I'm like this talking to myself, by the way. I don't, it's not just for you lot. I talked it, I, I read it and say, oh, fuck's sake. Um, right, where are we at next? Right, I'm going to look at some of these games. So I just want to get my dashboard up. I ran some three o'clock odds. Let's just get a few teams that are odds on at home and see how they're going. So Coventry are. Wow, Coventry, 1.44 at home to, uh, to Reading. Is that right? I know Reading are dire, but Coventry are pretty shit. Is GH in here? Um, my mate Zed, he keeps a one that we took at 9 o'clock. I'm just going to check that. See, I'm always checking. So I, although I've run that, and I'm pretty convinced of the time I ran it, I'm convinced I ran it at 3 o'clock. Yeah, they were 1.56 this morning, so that is right. I just go and check, have I made a mistake? I always want to check what I'm looking at. So Coventry, 1.44, over two and a half was odds on this morning, but it's gone to 204 at kickoff. Uh, Daniel Erich has asked this. Ian, am I right saying that if it's 1-1 at 65 minutes, late goal was 1.77 at Munich, but come 80 minutes, 1-3, you would still back a late goal based on 65-minute prices. That is exactly bang on. 
um, Daniel. The, the goal on 80 minutes isn't the next goal. It, is there a goal after 80 minutes in that game? So irrespective of what happens between when you run it and you get to 80 minutes, it's basically saying for that scenario, X amount of games have a goal after 80 minutes. Uh, one of the things I might look to do is make that minute um, adjustable in the summer. So it might be that if you want to do 85, you could put it in. You know, I've always done 80 minutes onwards, but it was just something I thought would be a feature for people when we look to change things. I'm going to look to add in the season XG because um, somebody's asked for that and whether you can, but, but that is exactly right. You know, I wouldn't, it, it's irrelevant of what happens. Is there a goal late on? So yes, you'll bang on. Uh, right, so I'm going to run the Coventry game. So Coventry is 1-0 versus Reading. I'm going to get the market up. Bear with me a second. Coventry search. As I say, that's where this is. This isn't a game I would normally do. I'm just going a little bit off script to find some different trades and have a look at stuff for us. So Coventry over two and a half is 2.02. Now, we've got to bear in mind that the... Um, It's one nil. Let me share the screen. The stream. It's in the English Championship. Here, English Championship. So I'm now going to remove that because these aren't relevant. These aren't what it was. But the home team is odds on. In fact, they're low odds on. They're one point four four. So I'm going to go to one point five there. But over two and a half was odds against. So I'm now going to go 1.5 to 2. So I've now set this up just for this game. So I'm just literally taking this game and going, that is, now I'm saying a bit what Ken was saying. Now I'm saying that was the profile of the game. Are there any bets that are worth having in it? Genuinely, or generally not the way I work, but I did with the um, Nuremberg game earlier. So I'm going to have a look at this. I'll be amazed because it's the championship, which has got a history of... Uh, whilst it's quite exciting results, not exciting goals-wise. Um, so we run that. We we'll just work through a few through half-time. Uh, I don't touch nil-nils at all, so that's just my one of my, you know, my, my golden rules for my betting tend to be odds on over two and a half, high-ish XG numbers, um, and I tend to stick to those. Uh, I'm not one who really gets involved in a lot of games that are over. 2.5 or things so and i don't get in golf game in play i don't get involved in games that are nil nil they just do not interest me so in the championship you can see this now we've got a large sample size we've got 46 games where it's been one nil where we've had a short oh, sorry i put that wrong there gotta go there i've got to run that again the max price we want is 1.5 i'm gonna make it a bit bigger because i can't see there being many 1.5 favorites it wouldn't have been a bet on the old thing. Again, this is, you know, make, again, live, make mistakes. You've got to make sure you fill in the right boxes. So I'm now saying English Championship 1-0 going into the 46th minute. Um, 1.75 is the max odds of the home team, but over 2.5 was odds against pre-kickoff. We've only got 25 games, and we have got 1.39 for another goal, 2.27 to 2.38 for two goals. So Coventry is... 202. So here I've just getting just you know it's great to rule out bits. We loads of people going, oh reading is shit, Coventry might get goals. But if we keep playing this sort of stuff, you'll win bets. It's whether you can win over the long term. The numbers are just going to make a load of money out over time. So we've run Coventry. Let's have a look at a couple of others. Barnsley, that was one that was uh earlier. Bear with me a minute. I just need to because I'm flicking between uh, different screens, so I just need to go and get this one, Barnsley, so Barnsley in League One, nothing no, nothing of interest there at 1-0, 2.46 over 2.5, nothing there, Bristol City, uh, all mates have taken the lead against Bayern Munich, there you go, at the Dortmund, right, Hoffenheim's 1.71, I'm still keeping an eye on that, by the way, that's 1.71, uh, 0.2, um, right, Bolton, what are Bolton doing, I'm just clicking 0.0, nil, nil. right, Charlton, there's a game, Charlton, so Charlton had both XGs, um, 
and is 1-1 in League One. So let's have a look at Charlton in League One for more goals. So let me just bring you back in. I need to go into my dashboard, get that up, get that, uh, add that to the stream. Dr. Dortmund will only choke you. I know. I've got two teams there, haven't I? Caleb Dortmund and Spurs, the fucking serial bottlers, both of them. Uh, right, so we want that there. So we've now got 1-1 one, one in English League 1. It's uh, Now we can go back to where we were, so we can take that out and take that out. You can click a button here to clear everything if you wanted to. Uh, so over two and a half, I want a max of 1.99, which it was. We want a min of 2.76 XG. So I'm just going to go and check that game. Charlton. Uh, so yeah, it was 1.74. So yeah, it leaves me little notes. Clever. Um, Right, so we like, I was just looking, the XG is 2.82, yeah, that's fine. So go back to my in-play dashboard, run that, click it. While it's loading, I'm going to flip over and get the market on that angel. Over under two and a half goals. Add in Charlton Morecambe. 1.23, we'll grab the three and a half as well for the two ahead. So again, 2.06, we got 30 qualifying games in that. And you can see now over two and a half is 1.20. Over two and a half at half time is 1.23. So we want 1.20 with the margin 1.26. So I pin it off. Uh, and with 2.14, 2.25, again, Charlton Morecambe, that is 2.08 to 2.12. So another game that I would not have a bet in. I'm just going to have a bet at Hoffenheim, excuse me. Just get ready for that, line that one up. Um, watch a goal go in right this minute. Wolfsburg stuff in Bosham. 1.78 Hoffenheim. Thank you, Dylan. We're getting there. Um, right, where else? Let's have a look at another one. I need to kick you lot out there a minute. Let's go and find another one. Not interested in Wickham. Can't do Sheffield flipping. Wednesday's nil nil. Port Vale. Port Vale. Let's have a look at what was that this morning. Port Vale. Because they were decent XG. 2.82. Okay. If there's to be a new version of this sheet with season XG, will that be available to folks who bought the in-play tool when it's ready? Yes, it will, Callum. Obviously, if we update it, if we upgrade it, um, the people who've got it, there'll just be a new one to download. But I won't do that till the summer because we'll just confuse people. But the plan is to get that sorted for you for the summer. Um, you know, we can put the 5% window on. I'd like to make that, that you could put your own percent in. People might want to bet 1% or 2% over the top. Um, configure that minute and add the season XG. That's my that's my sort of list of ideas. Um, right, which game was I running? Port Vale. So I'm going to have a look at Port Vale. 2-0. Port Vale was odds against, but over 3 XG. So we'll go to the in-play dashboard. Um, do, 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 bring you back in and to stream. So we are now looking at Port Vale, which is 2 0. So 2 0 in League One on 46 minutes. It wasn't odds on pre kickoff, but it is 2.76 XG. Click analyze, click yes. Click OK. We've got 30 games. So 1.25 to um, 1.31. So again, I'll go and just, all I do now is go and get the markets. So I don't need Coventry. I don't need Charlton. We've been those off. But if you've got a list of games in advance, you've got your criteria. I'm, I'm doing this on the fly just to um, have a look. But then you're not running around at half time like a headless chicken. You've got games that you know you're going to look at. So I'm loading the two and a half and the three and a half because it's 2-0 at Port Vale. 
And Port Vale is 1.35 currently for another goal. We've got 1.31 on our sheet. And for two, now here's one, you see. Now Port Vale for two ahead now. Mates, 3-1. Oh, Liverpool 1-1. One, one. Flipping it, it's turning into a lovely day. Um, so Port Vale, Bristol Rovers, two ahead is... Um, 2.62 so at half time it's 2.62 so games in english league one without playing any odds data but just games in english league one that are two nil at half time with an xg six game xg of 2.76 and port vales was 2.82 games of that profile at half time 50% of them have two goals of the ones that have met that profile. Add on our 5% margin, 2.1. You can back that at 2.66. That's at half time. I'm going to drag that out. So I'm going to start backing that when the second half kicks off. I'll wait until we've got, has it come up now? It was kicked off. 48 minutes. I'm now going to back that through the next 10, 15 minutes. And if a goal goes in, I'll remove my liability. If I then get to... Um, 75, 80 minutes, and there hasn't been a goal, I will back one ahead. So I'll now go back to the over two and a half market, which we had value in at half time, and I will back that. So 80% of these games have another goal. I will back that as cover. So I'm going to risk 0.75% through the first 10, 15 minutes of the half. I'm going to have another 0.75% at the end as cover. If we get no goals, I'm going to lose 1.5%. If we get one goal early, I'm going to green up. If we get one goal after my um, cover bet's been placed, I'm scratched. If we get two goals, I win the lot. But again, you've got to have a clear staking plan, clear idea of what you're going to do um, and what we're going to play. So I'm going to do that. Do that. So... Stop sharing at the minute, and then we'll run some games on the 65th minute for these things like Leicester and Liverpool. We can run um, into the second half. So let's stop that. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, I'm on the uh, got my eyes on the Hoffenheim game. So Port Vale, and again, I'm just throwing some Port Vale red in one one look. Sheffield Wednesday losing like Exeter. Go on, your missus will be happy. Um, so Port Vale two ahead. I'm making notes what I'm doing so I'm not getting in a mess. Uh, and that'll be two ahead with one ahead cover if we don't get it. We'll have a look at some. Been doing an hour already, see? Been in here an hour. Incredible, isn't it? And time flies when you're having fun. Right. Is this sort of thing, just while I've got this little lull, we're waiting for a goal at Hoffenheim or not, as the case may be. Um, Port Vale, we're going to drip in. Well, I've started dripping in. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Do people like this format, this sort of thing? Um, there's a few of you in there now. I don't know how many. I can't see how many people are in here. Uh, it's one of them. Look. Would you like more of these? Um, let's get some initial feedback and see where we go from there. And obviously we will be, we won't have to do all the preamble. I can just say to people, listen to the number one, and that will clarify that. Bounsley, Bounsley to Oxford nil. So Bounsley, for some people who know me, it was an 85, um, 81 people watching. Uh, Barnsley was a over one and a half for some people who know me well. Uh, we've got the second goal. Um, right, okay, that's good. This is what we'll do then. We'll do a bit more of this. Lovely. Right, so Port Vale and that. Right, so we're going to look at some of these through 65 minutes now. So I'm going to have a look at the... Um, Liverpool goal. Uh, yeah, and, and as I say, I'm well aware, I mean, it's trading post, but a lot of people don't have the file. I fully get that. But 
um, you know, one you can look to get it, but there's other data out there that you can use to apply the same methodology, just getting yourself set up. This is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to play it. This is how I'm going to stake it. And then you've just got to stick to that. I told you Coventry were brilliant. They took one up now. Um, and this is how I'm going to stick to it. Um, and it is, you know, all these things are over time how you apply it. I'm trying to look. I mean, there was a great thing I tweeted, James Clear. Most people plan for like two, three, three some plan for a year no one's planning two three years there's this great sort of everyone wants everything now i think it's my biggest sort of battle is just saying to people well 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 get set up know exactly what you're going to do um and get an approach to it celtic one mother will one dearie me dylan oh, i bet he's watching on his stream i've done it again sorry dylan watches about four days behind <laughs> I call out. I can't help myself call out. I do that when I'm on my own as well. Shout the goals out. Talk about games. So I've got. I've slowly gone loopy doing this over 15 years. By the way, you've probably gathered from some of the pods if you listen. Right, uh, Port Vale. We're off and trickling. Um, Palace taking the lead at Everton. It's one of them, isn't it? It's one of them uh, just kicked off. <laughs> I love him. He's, he's one of the funniest people on FTS. Just makes me laugh. <laughs> Brilliant. Love him. Um, <laughs> Scottish. Is it on Scottish Sky? Go on. Um, where are we now? Uh, right. Liverpool. I was going to look at this Liverpool game. Liverpool have gone 2 1 up against Forest. You know, Liverpool are prone to goals. And the, Market price will probably not be fantastic. Let's move that. That's the other thing. You know, you get you get drawn to matches like that, but certain teams, yeah, they'll get goals, but it's again, it's that same thing. Do they get enough goals to justify the prices you're betting at if we keep doing it? Uh, right, so that is two one. So let's do over under three and a half. I'm just going to have a quick scat at um, what these some of these Premier League games were pre event. Where are we? Premier League. So Liverpool were over three. Celtic, we had a bit of everything. St Johnston, Hibs. Well, should we run a Scottish one? I know there's a red card. I'm not interested in that. Ten in that red card's gone. Um, not interested in that. Uh, oh, Palace haven't gone up. Right, Leicester. What was Leicester? So Leicester, uh, nothing really of any excitement. Let's run. We'll run that. We'll run that just as a comparison so we can see it. So Leicester is 2.6 and odds on. Okay, right. So let's go back to here. Let's do that one first. Then. So we're going to go now. Leicester are coming up to... Let's do it. I'm not saying you can't find value in these markets. If you want to go light, it's just not for me, but it's just not the profiles I like. So Leicester are 65, 1-1 one, one in the English Premier League. Not going to put any odds in there, 2.6. So what I would do in that instance, if I was running out, I'd do it between 2.5 and 3 or 2.5 and 2.99. Then you'd do 3 to 3, but I do, I tend to do it. Do that actually 2.5 1 to 3 is what I would tend to be a 1 to the whole number. So I would run that now. So we're in the English Premier League, it's 1 1 on 65 minutes. We're running it in advance, remember, so we're prepared. 2.5 1 to 3. Let's have a look and see how many we've got. Premier League, because it is obviously uh, watched a lot and bet a lot, isn't always the best one for in play value. People have a bit more idea. So 27 games that we've got in the Premier League. 1.49 for another goal. Let's delete that off and I'm in that. 1.49 for another goal. 2.36 for one on the end. Let's just have a quick look at Leicester Wolves. Get markets up. Leicester Wolves. Two and a half and three and a half. Lister Wolves 1.6. So it's 1.65 already for another goal. 4.4 for two more goals, and it is still only on 59 minutes. So here is one for small beans. This is one for small beans if I'm running this. 
uh, we'll get the 65 minutes, I would almost certainly play this market here, the over three and a half. I'd play it small because I'm going to be able to get on at about five uh, and trade on a goal and I'd have a small cover bet at the end. Um, so this is... Now that's where you can just run it and pick scenarios. And all I'd say is you want really, if you're going to do it that way, you want really, really strong numbers. So it may be that you make your list in the morning and nothing suits and you've got to go out around Ikea with the missus or whatever. Um, but you do want to sit down at six o'clock, seven o'clock and have a go. Um, all I'd say if you do do them like this, where I've just picked an ad hoc game, wouldn't be in my normal qualifying criteria. You'd want to see really strong numbers. Um, and make sure you know what your staking is going to be, you know, all that sort all that side of it comes down to just disciplining yourself. But it's five already. I mean, we're on 60 minutes and it's five, 61 minutes and it's 4.95, 5.2. So we will have a little dribble on that because they are another two shit teams. Both of them beat Spurs, I think. But there you go. We are crap. We are depressingly bad. St. Johnson, you know, we saw the red card there. Don't do Austria because they're in playoff stages. We'll keep an eye on that Hawks Air game. Let's have a look. Just My computer's backed up now. Oh, Celtic. Uh, Family all kill, that's 2 0, not interested in that. Orcs there, so Orcs there is odds on. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. Now, this is what I do when I'm on my own, by the way. I'm gonna, you gotta wait these days, don't you? You gotta wait for VAR. You have to wait for VAR now. It's so annoying, isn't it? This is the one thing, this is the one thing that's annoying. But what I do, I'll do it anyway. I mean, this could be the kiss of death, me doing this. Because you do find that VAR comes up. But to entertain myself, see, you get the goal at Hoffenheim and then I start moonwalking. That's what I start doing, see? Because just like the rest of you, I love goals. And when you think the game, that's two I've had today. Nuremberg earlier, you weren't on for. That one there, all live. I've talked you through it. I love a late goal, just like you lot do. It's fucking exciting. But I don't go, oh, I predicted that. We're playing the numbers. Non-stop playing the numbers. Oh dear, <laughs> fucking lovely, beautiful, beautiful stands. Thank you, Daniel. There you go. Let's do the moonwalk again. I get excited doing this. That's why I love doing it. Uh, QPR, you can see Burnley have given up, and they're quite they're up, aren't they? They've packed up for the they've packed up for the foreseeable. They don't care. Um, Right, where were we, see? And then I get excited on the own, I'm easily settled down, but. Yeah, I used to have a lot more, like Lee, Little Leagues put Betfair, used to have live games across Bundesliga. Yeah, they used to have a lot more, but obviously just TV rights have moved, they've um, disappeared. Now that mother will getting on. Yeah, I've become a mother will Hibs observer. I can't help myself with just from the old Scottish lads in uh, FTS. Almost got up for a little. I don't do. You got to entertain yourself. We sit here for a long time. You have got to enjoy life. Swansea stuff in Norwich. Burnley QPR. Nothing to do with it. Just clearing down my decks a minute. There, right, so I'm keeping an eye on this. Uh, oh, it's one three, should have gone two ahead. Fuck me, amazing! It's like that, like that game last night that had like that game last night that had late goals. Um, right, we're on um, Leicester Wolves, we were looking at, weren't we? So I got all excited. Leicester Wolves just coming up 65 minutes, right? So Leicester 64 minutes. Over three and a half goals. Let's get the thing back in. Let's wind it back in for you. Share the screen. Window. We're just getting there now. Hold on a minute. I've lost my spreadsheet. Share. Sheffield Wednesday. Blind against Dexter. Boom. Um, right. We want the in-play dashboard. 
We're on this Leicester game, 65 minutes, one minutes, one. So 70% have another goal from there. 30% have another two goals, which is a price of 3.38. It is now six. So this price comparatively is six. An extra goal is 1.86. We're almost at even money for another goal already. So I am going to back that small. I'm not having a lot of, you know, this is where you've got to get your stake in, right? I'm going to back this small um, for the uh, over three and a half. I will trade on a goal. But if we get to uh, 2.08 for over two and a half, which rip literally is minutes away, uh, then I will put the stake on there to cover. Hopefully that's clear with people. I've talked about this sort of thing before. Now let's say if I was talking of 100 quids, I'm going to have 100 quid on over three and a half goals. If a goal goes in, I'll green that up. Um, if I don't, if I get to 2.0x for over two and a half goals, I'm going to have 100 quid there. So I'd have 200 quid in effect at risk, which I would lose. If I get one goal after I've put both bets on, I'm going to scratch. If I get two goals, I'm going to, I wouldn't touch it. Then if I get, get one goal after both bets are on, I don't touch the initial bet. I just let that go um, and let it all play out. So I'm going to have a little dribble on that. Uh, what's happening? While I, oh, oh, the mighty filler are losing. Oh, Rizzi, are they in? In my edge of my seat watching here. 1-1 one, one, and had a red card. Liverpool 2, Forest 2. Liverpool 2, Forest 2. Right, so we've got Port Vale. We're in small. Nothing happening there. Uh, so, again, that one back to two ahead. Can have a cover late on if nothing happens. Let's get into it. Let's just check that. That's still only 1.58, so plenty of time to go there. Uh, and Liverpool, I'm not playing. That's just gone 2-2 two, two up the Forest. Uh, right, Leicester over three and a half goals. So this is it. You can put it all in at 6.6 .6, or you could drip it in over sort of five minutes. So again, you've got to just be, all I say with people with betting is decide your stakes, how you're going to play it, and then be consistent. So if you're going to, if you're going to drip up, drip in, drip in all the time. If you're going to, don't do one and then the other. If you're going to remove your liability, remove your liability all the time. Don't remove your liability on some green, some others. Just Decide what you're going to do. Make a trading plan. You know, watch the last two Saturday ones that I've done. Um, well, I've just made notes of what I'm going to do. So, you know, all my all my trading stuff, I have explanations. I know what I'm going to do. Right, there's definitely going to be another goal at Leicester in there because uh, Wolves, Leicester, they're both shit. Can't defend. <laughs> Have a little patience. Forest 2-2. Two, two. Giving Spurs. Oh, there they are. They're in the lovely. The old Villa fans. They've been giving me all sorts of stick. They got within three points. Um, get old Brentford win that. We'll do the old beheaders tomorrow. Get them put in their box. I'm hoping that really just to show you it's no, nothing's guesswork. Nothing's all. Oh, they've had eight shots. There's going to be a goal. Uh, I'm sure there's people who can do that, and good luck to them. It's not for me. Can you use the in-play tool for the first half goal market? It can. It'll only tell you over 0.5 or over 1.5 currently. So you'll see that. So you obviously don't know when that's going to happen. Uh, that would be another major development. I mean, that would be that wouldn't be one to be fair. That if we went down that road, we would have to charge to cover. Um, Chris, uh, Chris um, doing it. Gerard, so there's a reason you're having a smaller trade on Leicester due to it being outside your usual parameter. Exactly, Gerard, yeah. It's not on my list. Obviously, what I said to you, I'm going to try and I'm going to do stuff that I wouldn't normally do just to try and show you as guys over these over these sessions, as many ways that you could use it. Uh, having found them, I'm not going to sit there and say, do that, guys, and then not put something small on it myself. Oh, fuck off, Liverpool. Um, and, yeah, and the over two and a half now at Leicester has gone over two. So, in effect now, I'm going to um, just cover that now. So, Ike's added uh, there. 
I wouldn't play this game as match XG. I know, and that's exactly why I've said, Ike. I think, obviously, people are going to have to go back and watch this. I said I'm going to run some scenarios that I wouldn't usually run just to show you different ways that you can look at the sheet and find ways to play it. I, when I ran that game, I said this isn't one I would usually look at, but I've set it up, if I was going to, how I would do it. So I would put it 2.51 to 3, put the score in and have a look, and I would want tremendous value. But it isn't a game I tend to work on the settings I showed you at the start. Um, and that gives me plenty of games to get involved in there. But I don't, if no games, it's pointless doing these sessions and not having anything. We're just going to sit here talking. Well, I'm going to talk to myself and you're going to listen. I'm trying to just give people as many ways over this to use it as we possibly can. I will do some going back to who was it? Who asked about the first half? Lee Wilson. Without the in play tool, Lee, I will do a couple of these sessions on some first half. Um, 1.5 cover. I'd use a different sheet. Well, I use the same sheet, um, but I use different elements of it. So if I go to my daily dashboard sheet, you'll see here I've got games marked in orange. These are games that I will consider for 1.5 first half goals. Um, so I'll have a. We'll go over those one one day. I wanted to do sort of second half today, but we'll do everything. We've got one down, 29 to go. Right, Leicester v Wolves, we're on. We've got a little bet on the over 3.5, a little bet on the over 2.5. Leicester is shit. They'll capitulate in a minute. Liverpool, Galby and VAR review. Oh, beautiful. It's been about five minutes. That's when it's really nice, isn't it? And they've already banked it, and then it gets taken off. Beautiful. Port Vale still 2-0. Shite. See, the Port Vale is another one that I wouldn't normally play. I'm just trying to show people how to do them. Two, the two that I would definitely have played are the Hammerby. We've had four trades in this afternoon. Would be Hammerby and Hoffenheim. Hammerby loser, Hoffenheim winner. Goal stands. Just time for just time for old Klopp to slip a few quid to the old fourth official. Just slip a few little brown envelope. It was offside. I haven't seen it. I know it was offside. Uh, right, what else have we got? Right, let's have a look. We will, because I don't like to leave them out, and we can get old. Um, we can get old Dylan on the edge of his seat. So let's get this game up here. We'll do one more while we're here. Just run it. I don't know whether it's going to be a bet, but we've got Celtic, who were one point one four to beat Motherwell. Let's just hasten to add. Uh, 3xG in the full time, 3xG in the match XG, plenty of goals. Over two and a half was short. They're going to be short. The price is going to be short now. But obviously, every game ends up at 1,000 if there's not a goal. So you're going to get to the stage in the Celtic game now where people are going to start panicking, thinking they're not going to score. And the price is going to start to go up a bit. So I'm just going to go and grab the Celtic over 2.5 market. It's one all. There, Celtic over 2.5. It'll still be silly short. It's 1.5 over 2.5 with 17 minutes to go. Uh, did I look at the Bradford game? Bradford, that's a not very nice thing to call them. Uh, no, I didn't look at the Bradford. Is it Bradford? Bradford? I can't even see Bradford on my list. Who are Bradford playing? No, oh, I didn't look at Bradford, no. Are Bradford playing today? Got me confused now, so I get distracted. I know they're in League Two. I don't do League Two. Don't worry about that. It's not on our sheets, is it? League Two. I don't even think it's on the sheet. Um, right, where am I going? We're going to Scottish Premier League. Here we go. Under P for pointless. Scottish Premiership. One one. You see, again, I wouldn't run this. It's too late. I don't normally run Brentford. No, I didn't do the Brentford game. I don't like upsetting our villain, our villa people. Uh, Blue Noses are losing Birmingham City. 1-1. 75, 75, 75. Let me just run this. Celtic Scottish Premiership. Right. And I'm going to put home odds in because it will be 
by doing this will automatically include the mainly Celtic and Rangers games. Uh, that was up at three, so we'll put our 2.76 in. We'll bin that off. And the over 2.5, we'll put 1.99, but it was much lower. So we have basically gone now 75 minutes in the Scottish Premiership. It's 1-1, which it is in Celtic playing Motherwell. The home team was short odds on. We saw they were 1.14, so I've said, show me anything up to 1.5. Over 2.5 was odds on. Invariably, if it's going to be one of Celtic and Rangers, that's going to be odds on. And we had the match XG. So now we are going to give a quick spin on that. No idea how many games you're going to get. Probably not many that were 1 1, to be fair, because normally both those teams, the big two, are out of sight by now. Uh, but let's just have a look. We can run it. See, two games. There you go. So I wouldn't. Oh, Leicester have scored. Leicester have scored. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do the time walk again. Uh, so there we go. So two, you know, and again, this is a key element. You've got to have your own um, sample sizes and stick to them. It's absolutely no point going, oh, but it's at eight. Oh, perhaps I will. I just don't do that. The, the absolute minimum I go to is 15, and I want to see astounding numbers to bet at that, or it is 20 and above. I do not look at anything. I just wouldn't even entertain it. So, Dylan, look. one's won, one's lost, mate. You're in. Now, so, right, so now the Leicester game has gone 2-1. Let's take this off a minute. Let you see my beautiful locks. Look at it. It's coming back. She keeps scalping me. Uh, so, the Leicester game, I got both bets in. So, I back over 3.5, and then I covered over 2.5. So, as it stands now, I can't lose anything. You could green your over... 3.5 if you want to. I'm going to let it ride because that is the old jackpot. That's when we've got the lock because I've I've backed that at odds of uh, 6.8 and 7.4. So I am leaving that to run. It's got absolutely no risk now. That is where we can dance about. You wouldn't remove uh, S Training Post asked me. I'm not, um, and that's exactly this is exactly the point I'm covering. You can green it if you want, or you can remove your liability, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to let it go. In effect, I've got my money back in the 2.5 market. I've got 15 minutes now for the full jackpot, so I'm not going to reduce that position. That will decide whether Mrs. E gets a box of chocolates and a bottle of Prosecco tonight, or um, it's beans on toast, basically. So that's basically how it goes. Um, right. That's all right. No, don't do feel. I mean, I do feel asked questions. I love people asking questions. This trading post. It's one of my main criticisms of FTS members is they sit in fucking silence. Um, that is how we're going to learn is you guys asking questions. And I've got no problem, you know, going through it. Um, and don't worry if I mention it twice or you're asking as I say it. Um, right. So I'm not going to put any more bets on now. We've got left with a Port Vale game. I'm going to cover the extra goal. Do exactly the same when that gets to. Uh, so over two and a half. That could be the one that catches us out. So that is now just getting to 2.0x now for Port Vale. So exactly the same again. I only had another little small bet. I'm just going to cover that um, there and hope we get a goal there. So that will be a, the same scenario now as we've got the Leicester game. We've got a free ride at the Leicester game. The Celtic game is too small a uh, sample size. Uh, Port Vale has got to that. It's just going 2.08 now. So you can have a little bit to cover there. We've got, um, yeah, we're all over it. Portsmouth just taking the lead. So we want uh, Forest Equaliser, Brentford to stay as they are. Well, Forest 2, really. Championship, nothing. Don't really, I don't want company in Spurs, not for me. Uh, Bolton, I tipped them up pre-season just because it winds my old mate up in Wigan. Be nice to see them hold on, get in the playoffs, perhaps get go up. We want Motherwell to hold on for my old mate. St Johnston, Hibs, one one ten men. Oh, any and Arts stuffed them earlier, didn't they? All hotting up to get in that like top race for European pay. But Arts won about eight nil, didn't they? Everton have had a man sent off. Art 6 1 against Ross County. Charlton losing. Old Callum's going to be headbutting the wall. Two, three to Morecambe. Dearie me. Morecambe are shit, aren't they? 
rather minor classification. Right. So, any questions? We're going to let this Leicester game play out. I'm not going to do any more. I'm not going to run any more because there's nothing there of interest on me. I, you know, if we kept going, the next game I'd probably run would be the Dega Fours game, which has kicked off in Sweden and just gone nil one. Uh, oh, was it one three? Sorry, I thought they'd just gone three two up. And with the year right, it wasn't two all. Sheffield Wednesday beating Exeter. Christ Almighty, she will be miserable. Um, Right, any other questions? Anything we've got? So we've got the Port Vale game now covered. We've not had a goal. Hopefully we get one, get two. We're in Clover. Got a free ride at Leicester for over three and a half. We didn't get the goal at Hammerby. We got the goal at Hoffenheim. Uh, beautiful. Leicester, another one. will be fucking lovely. Lost 6 nil to Ipswich last weekend. We're a joke club. Good little run, good little family club Charlton was back in the day. Any beheaders in here? Got any beheaders in here ready for tomorrow? Going to get their little asses kicked for the second week running? Lincoln, we got a Lincoln Martin. Martin, he's not watching, but he's a Lincoln fan. He's um. Wear green. So I always wear green. I tend to wear green on a Saturday. See, bet fair green. Just, I'm not superstitious. It's your turn here, Michael. Well, you're going to get a good old slap in tomorrow. Andrew Stead was in here earlier. Took him. Took him and they cheated their way to victory at our place. It was a foul on Larice. We all know it. Uh, right, so as I say, my plan will be to do another 29 of these sort of through the end of this season and into the um do a couple in the summer seeing what football's on obviously we've got a limited range but we've got things like norway and sweden when they've got good fixture list as in number of games we'll do it uh, and then into the start of next season so you should all be set up by the time the international break comes and goes in september uh, to take you through the season um, and uh, hopefully you know they're not I'm not going to say they're going to have any better production wise this is how I work and I am giving up a screen to talk to you guys um, which I've got no problem doing at all but in effect we will cover lots of different ways that we will look to um, to do and we'll run you know a lot of the time we might be running the same thing but we'll run more two aheads at half times and things um, and and you'll get the idea of how it all works and how it plays out over time uh so to be clear you pick your games in advance based on xg and odds yes i do that's what i do so you know you could do 2.5 xg you could do three the, the more you widen the range so if you go to 2.5 you're going to get more games if you go to three you're going to get less games so for instance at this last year uh, this is just a good when we started developing this as a separate tool uh i i used to run it on 2.5 i had a lot more games to the extent that i thought i'm not going to do that this season because it can get a bit manic on a saturday afternoon i'm going to start it at three for this season and it's gone the other way there's, there's been not enough games so i've gone back to 2.76 the midpoint and I'm finding that kind of just sits nice with me. That gives me a, a nice num number of games. And I do up to 1.99 over 2.5. If you want to go beyond that, then you can. But it, it's it's giving you what gives you the right sample of a number of games to be interested. And then what are you going to do to trade them? Right, once you've picked them, how are you going to trade those games? And, and I've just talked through the ways I do it. Um, if you want more trades, you're probably better going in at half time because you're going to have more games there. Um, obviously, as the game goes on, you're going to get smaller sample sizes. But we'll do some first half stuff next time. I'll, I'll probably do it again. Uh, I've got I've got to get the ball. I've got some couple of groups on FTS I want to look after, so I'm going to do a couple of sessions with them as well on the on the private. But I will try and. Uh, do one of these every weekend to the end of the season now. Dundee United Celtic one one. Come on the well. I don't want to don't want to 
Yeah, come on the world. Who, who's two? I don't even see. I just look at the goal. I don't even look. Who took the lead in that Leicester game? Who was it? Oh, Leicester 2 1. Right. Yeah, they're always prone to let one in. Wolves equaliser incoming. A little bit of uh, moonwalking. Goal at Port Vale would be nice. Little feckers. Useless. I'm not a massive better in League One normally either. I don't normally do. Um, League One, particularly on a three o'clock on the afternoon, one main reason being, uh, and again, not being flash when you want to get a reasonable amount of money on, it's um, trading out. So, for example, if you want to remove your liability, you're just waiting because the money is in the Premier League and the Bundesliga too. Uh, there's a Spanish Premier uh, La Liga game on. So, I'm not a I don't mind doing League One midweek when they've got their fixtures on a Wednesday night or whatever. I'm not a massive fan of doing League One um, during the um, during the um, Saturday afternoons, three o'clock. Now you're welcome. I, you know, my life's a bit, I'm not carping on about it being a bit awkward the last couple of years as everybody's with COVID and things. I've got more time now, so I've got no problem jumping on here and. My whole aim is to show you guys, you know, this is showing process rather than just saying, oh, you know, post a green screen, I had a late night at Hoffenheim. It doesn't mean anything, does it? Or what, how did you do that? Um, and that's what I want to get. Actually, you've seen exactly how we got to that. You've seen how we got to the Hammerby game that didn't have a goal. Um, so we've got stuff to do. And, I, you know, as I say, I don't mind doing a few trades that I wouldn't normally have. The list of one with free rolling for big money. And the Port Vale one, they're useless. Any Port Vale supporters? Bristol Rover supporters? Gary Mabbott's club can't have a word said against them. Gary Mabbott came from Bristol Rovers. But we'll just let this Leicester game finish to see if you can see if I leap up out of my chair. I want to see what happens at Celtic for my old mate. Like Exeter to get an equaliser. Ipswich are going to win League Two, uh, League One. Ipswich are coming up. Bolton are going to get in the playoffs there, 1 0. Wigan, bottom of the table, 1 1 against Millwall. Millwall doing their best to throw away a playoff place. Um, Burnley, well, yeah, Burnley are up there, finished. Birmingham are a funny club, get some funny old results, don't they? Up the forest, come on. Oh, Wigan have taken the lead against Millwall. Flipping dear. If they can't possibly get out of it, surely. Uh, Brentford, Brentford, 1 0. Not saying a word, just sit. Sometimes you just sit with a smile on your face. You just sit and smile. 2 1 up the Wigan. Oh, Marky boy. I don't know. Well, it's with a new baby, but I expect he'll be there. Sometimes you just have to sit and have a little smile on your face. What about that last night? Has he gone? Is Dan still in? Are there any gooners? Have they dared come in today? Have they? Have they dared come in? Any gooners? Point gained. I can't. I can't even say it without laughing. Is it two points lost or a point gained? Do me a fucking favour. I can't. Genuinely, I'm not putting it on. I can't say it without laughing. Is it a two points lost or a point gained? Oh fuck off. Fucking hell. Oh dear. It's all gone wrong. All oh, gone wrong there, isn't it? Oh, dear. But no, getting back to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Point gained. It's the best song forever. It's going to kill me. Yeah, no, I knew it was coming. Up the villa. I knew it was coming. Flipping deary me. Bit of VAR. Someone let me know. What's the Sheffield United? What's, who are they playing? Sheffield United. Oh, is it the... F I don't follow the Cups. We're, not in them. We're never in them long enough. They, they beat us, didn't they? Against um, City. Is it Sheffield United City? Two points lost for the Saints. That I do agree with, Pat. I didn't I didn't watch the game, but I, I hear at the end the defending was a bit uh, calamitous. And certainly, I, I certainly think that three, I don't care who they are, and I know there's confidence in that, 11 able-bodied grown men, two nil up, two goals up with a couple of minutes left and a bit of injury time. Shouldn't be losing football matches. I said it when Spurs done it at West Ham. Uh, they're able-bodied professional sportsmen. They don't. It's not like they're doing fuck all else. They're not turning up from the pub, are they? They're uh, 
proper professional football. It's an absolute disgrace not being able to see a game out when you're two up. I don't care who they're playing. I don't care if they were playing 11 Harry Canes. Uh, would you be able to show it's an under 2.5 market and how you would trade it in the future? Yeah, we'll do some lays. We'll do some under. As I say, I'll mix up what I do. Um, you know, it's, it's stuff I, I look at. I don't normally do, but I will do that. How many in plays would you raff, would I expect to get on a rough set? I will continue following my list through. Probably have, on average, 10, 12, 14 bits of action, I guess, in play. Um, just some days it really, you know, like I do a lot of my stuff, I'll do 20 minutes on. You can sit there and have, tw I could have 20 games on the list and none of them have a goal in the first 20 minutes. And then you'll get a Saturday where you have 15. Um, and then you run them and 10 might qualify. And then you're like, ah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what I've tried to move to is timed sessions for me. I've tried to sort of say, right, we'll do, you know, I'll sit down at two and I'll work till six. Um, and then I won't even look in the evening. That's why I say, like, if you're going to do America and that, you've just got to be really sure what you're doing. I uh, just want to run some questions here. Uh, two points. Yeah, so, Daniel, going back to the point I made, this season, yeah, 301, has, it just hasn't given up as much volume, whether it's to do with the World Cup. You know, I, I keep all those records and check it. So, yeah, push it to 2.76. It, it makes next to no difference to the results, to be honest. It really doesn't. You're talking minuscule. But, oh, my God. Excuse me for laughing. <laughs> it's even better that way. That's even better than just what's happened. For the late goals, 80 plus, uh, you like seeing 1.7. Uh, I, I like to see it odds on, basically. That's the bottom line. I like to see it. I like to see it odds on. So I like to see that uh, a goal 80 minutes plus is odds on. Invariably, if it's odds on, you're going to get tremendous value. Most leagues are 2.2, 2.2 three on 80 minutes so i like to see it odds on and then i'll play some late goals we'll find some late goals over the course of these sessions in play 20 minutes yeah yeah we'll cover all these methods it's just getting games that qualify so they'll they're literally games that have a goal in the first 20 minutes and i back over 2.5 so we'll um, do these back. it's it, genuinely it's better that way right What's happening? Uh, where else are we? Oh, it's been chalked off. It's been chalked off. Oh, I hate this game. So you can't you can't laugh anymore. You can't have fun, can you? You can't get excited about stuff. All right, Wolves Leicester is two one still. Not going to get the bounty. Doesn't look like, mind you, if they get the same injury time that the arse get. What was it, about 17 minutes of injury time played yesterday or something? I mean, talk about we want them to find a goal. I don't mind if they do it for all the games. Just do it for every single game. If they're going to, going to add it all up and add it on, they should all have 10, 12, 15 minutes. But don't do it for some and not others. Very, 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 very... Upsetting that goal being chalked off. Port Vale was suspended, but nothing's happened there. Turkish referee here. Yeah. Yeah, unbelievable, that, isn't it? We've still got times. What's happening? Still, still one off. What a great result for Motherwell. Up the well. 1 1 Villa. Disappointing, not going to get the goal at Leicester. Port Bale, shite, that's why that back lead one, absolutely useless. And the 2.76 is the six game model, yes, Daniel. So at the minute, the only model, the only model that's, I've got a, I've got a version that runs both plus on numbers now. I might introduce that to you guys just for a play around, but the, um, the one that's on site is built on the six game model, yeah. Um, the, the 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 season model what you will almost certainly get obviously once you get bigger data that you're using to create these numbers you'll just get less qualifiers so you'll need to lower the number perhaps even further uh, you'll notice that the average six form xg will be bigger than the season xg and you'll have more games over three and things yeah Burnley they've down tools I think they? I think they've won the league and they've they've packed up 
Liverpool have won. Depressing, boring. Forest, I don't look to the bottom of the table. Forest must be in trouble again down, wasn't he? I don't look at league positions and things. Once I, once I know Spurs can't win the league, which is usually around August, I don't need to bother. Palace nil, Everton nil. Everton must still be banging trouble. Leicester, crap. Six men's injury time at Port Vale. We might get out of jail. Might get out of jail. I kind of, once I see the old 90 plus come up on Football 24, I just kind of, that's me. I go, well, that's lost. And then anything other than any, any goals you get after that, it's just a bonus, isn't it? Right, Leicester's finished 2 1. Uh, so on that note, team. I am going to leave you. Um, hopefully, I don't know whether it's standing. I've no idea. Is the QPR goal standing? I've no idea. I don't. I, I only go on what flashes up and on. That's why I get excited. I get excited like the Brentford goal and then it gets chalked off. Because I don't watch any of this bit 365 stuff or know what's going on. Right, Leicester's finished. Uh, Port Vale, I'm going to write off as a bag of shite. Um, hope you all enjoyed that. As I say, feedback, if you can, like, subscribe. It just gives us feedback, um, check numbers and things. Um, post it in the Telegram room, how great, what a great time you had. Or what a bell end I am. I don't care, whichever way you want to go. Um, Celtic one, mother will one. I hope they hold on for you, Dylan. Uh, I will sort another one out for um, next week, guys. So I'll do much the same. What I might try and do is just pick some different time slots. One, so I just don't tie up three o'clock. Well, give other people a time to, that maybe could come in earlier and then just also look at some different leagues. We'll be able to do things like the German Bundesliga 2 and stuff like that. So um, we'll mix them up and do different sessions. But the plan is to do another 29 and then you should all be mightily gifted. Um, right. Have a lovely, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will be back with you all um, in the week. I'll probably be doing a couple of podcasts and things. Um, all right. Thanks. You know, you're thanking me. Thank you guys for coming on. Obviously, you coming on makes it worthwhile. Uh, and I will see you all, um, speak to you all later in the week. Take it easy, bye.